Welcome everybody. Today we're going to try out a magnifying effect. So let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how I created one. So the first thing you want to do is grab your photos. So I'm going to grab four beachy photos. Let's see what I've got here. One, two, three, four. All right. So we're going to use these four right here. Uh, these four photos are all pretty much the same, so they're fine if you want to use them as is. If you have photos that are different sizes, what I would recommend is going into your elements and going down and grabbing a frame and size it to how you want your pictures to be so they'll all be the same size. So when you do that, I did mine with four photos. If you're going to do more, then of course you're going to want more frames. So I'm going to go into position. I'm going to highlight my first one, hit my shift key, highlight the bottom one, move these all down to the back so I can drag these photos in. So drag number one, drag number two, move this a little bit, drag number three, and drag number four. So I now have all my pictures the way I want them. What I'm going to do now, if you're from my Facebook group, well, from my Facebook page, um, you know, I had a little thing on there about what to do these lineless, seamless, or with seams in between, spaces in between, and the votes were in. It was no lines, so we're not doing any lines. You can do lines if you want to. All I did with lines, and the reason they were white, if you saw my Facebook post, is because I just put a space in between there. Um, if you want to color when you do this, you'll understand when we get through this why there was white, white space versus a color back there when we get through this process. And then you can make your decision if you want to do it seamless or try to put a color in between in these spaces. So now that I've got all these together, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them, I'm going to group them. I am going to reduce them down like so. And I'm going to make two copies. I'm going to line them up against the next one. Let's move this one up a little bit. And I'm going to bump, bump, bump and make that one seamless and line it up with that one. And then when that one's lined up, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger for a second, make sure that's lined up good. It is. And then I'm going to group those two together. I'm going to move it on down the road and I'm going to take this third one and take it. Bump, bump, bump. Once that's lined up good, I'm going to group that together. Now we have what is going to be our back part. So what you want to do with your back part is you're going to figure out what photo you want to start with and kind of put that in the center when you start. Very important. And what size you want your boxes in the back. If you want them bigger, go ahead and expand it out to be bigger. So what you're going to do is you're going to use the set that's in the middle as your ones that are going to go behind your big one. But you want the ones at the end because when you move it, you just don't want them to move completely off, right? You want it to look kind of like seamless coming through. So that's why you need a set on this side and a set on this side. So we're going to take the middle one and just pick out whatever photo we want to do. Or you can even go further. It doesn't matter. You just want to make sure, say I'm starting with this photo here. I want that in the center in the center of where I'm going to start off at. And then you want to size it at however big, small you want to do that. So we're going to reduce this down so we can start making this a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to bring it up to see if it's where I want it to be. I kind of like it a little bit smaller myself, but that's a personal preference between y'all. Um, so I'm going to do it smaller. I'm going to start off with this one right here. So I'm going to put that in the center like so. Now that I got them where I want them, what I'm going to do is I am going to duplicate the page and then I'm going to move it over one. Like so. Oh, and try not to get wiggly. Move it over one. Duplicate the page. Move it over again. Oh, try not to get wiggly. I'm very wiggly. Don't get wiggly. Come on, girl. Don't get wiggly. That's why you see me do it so slow. I'm very wiggly. And then I'm going to duplicate the page and then I'm going to go to my fourth one. So you're going to move it into the center where your big magnifying is going to be. So now I've got all four of those done. 
I am going to go put match and move in between those. I'm going to apply it between all pages. Wait a minute, I'm going to turn it all the way up. And then I'm going to apply it between all pages. And then what you're going to do is get your timing the way you want to. So however you want your timing. So if you wanted it three seconds, five seconds, two seconds, you want it to do, you want to make sure they're there. So these are at 2.5. Let's see if we can get them all at 2.5. 2.8 if they're all at 2.8 let's see if we can get it to 2.5 2.6 i want i got one at 2.5 all right everybody's at 2.6 so what i want to do now is i want to go into file i want to download i want to download this as an mp4 so we're going to download this and we're going to wait till it comes back up now that i have that downloaded as an mp4 what i'm going to do now is i'm going to make my center one so you want to go and make sure you start off where you started off with. So what we're going to do now, do not change any of this right here because you want, it's going to be two videos overlaid each other. You want the timing and the match and move to be the same. So what we're going to do now is we're going to reduce this down like so, and then we're going to turn this up, 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 up to make it, make your center one as big as you want it to be. And we're going to go here. So say you want it that size. So what I'm going to do now, if I, you want to make it fun and put a frame around it, what I did was I went into, doo, 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 hold on. oh, I'm already in Elements Goofball. All right, so I went in here, I uh, picked out a border, went in here, made the center transparent, and now I'm going to sit there and make it silver because, oh, no, I don't want the center, center silver. I want the... That transparent i want the border silver so i'm going to go in here i'm going to add go to gradient add a black you know me you know me and once i get that done i am going to go and put it on the outside like so and you don't have to do this part if you don't want to that's just me doing me stuff so i can go on the outside of my photo like so if I want to you can bring it in you can bring it out a little bit to make it look bigger like so now what you're going to do after this you're going to go and you're going to grab two squares we're going to grab one here and you're going to mask the sides so I'm going to go here I'm going to duplicate that bring it on the other side mask it off like so and I am going to go and turn them white, change all, white. And now I have that mask just to make it easier. I'm going to go on a position. I am going to take this. I'm going to hit this one. I am going to hit my shift key. I am going to uh, group these. And then what I'm going to do is control C. Control C. And then I am going to go to my next slide. I am going to control V. Oops, nope, I hit control C. Groovy girl, let's not make mistakes. Control C. Go over here. Control V. And then you can go and grab this and make it bigger and fill up your fill up your thing. That way you don't lose your timing. Um, you can also do like you did before, like you did the first one and just move them across and do your match and move. Just be careful that everything, your timing and your match and move is the same. So if you decide just to go and duplicate this and move it over one, just make sure you take note of what your match and move is and what your seconds are. They have to match because you're doing two videos. So for safety purposes, I would just go and do it this route fill it in bring it over like so make sure it fits so we're going to make it big enough to fit and then i'm going to go and look and make it sure it needs to get a little bit bigger and then fill fill in your frame look i am just wobbly y'all wobbly wobbly and then we're going to go and Fill that frame in and bump it over just a smidge. 
So, and then we're going to do the next two the same way. So I'm going to go control V, click out here. Let's go in a position, grab this one, reduce down, and then make it bigger and fill in that hole. I think I made it a little too big that time. You might not have to make three with this, three rows of this stuff. You might be able to do two, but for the back one, I would definitely do three. You might be able to get away with just doing the one set right here and deleting the other two. It might be something y'all want to try to see if y'all can make the process a little bit easier for you. And then I am going to control V again. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go down. And then what I'm going to do is make this one big. Oh no, don't move that. I don't want that. Wig I don't want that wiggled. And then I'm going to see it. And then I'm going to make sure that that is filled in the way that I want. Can go up a smidge and done. So I didn't do anything with my match and move because I kept them from the original one. So now what I want to do now is I want to go into file. I want to download this and I download this part. So now we wait. Now that I have both of my videos done, I'm just going to click a new page. You can get rid of these now, but I'll, I'd keep them just in case I want to make it. I didn't like any, any of my stuff. I can always go back. Um, so I'm going to go on uploads. I'm going to go and upload my, the two files. So I'm going to go grab this one and uh, this one, these two. Now that both of these are loaded, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my top one and I am going to trim all the way down to my frame. Like so. And I'm going to take the back one and do the same. And then I'm going to stretch it out to match my corners like so. And then I'm going to place this over top and I can make this bigger if I want to or smaller. And then uh, you can actually set up a background. We'll just, you can put a photo back there. We'll just do a little color in the background. And then you can make sure you're, if you need to crop that a little bit more, because you can see some white. Or if you want to, you can just do it on a colored background. And that way you can do your own edges that way. And then we'll play it. And then that's how that is. I, I still got some white showing on the top. I need to get that down. But that's how you do that. And let's do let's do a little uh, live action design in here. I'm going to go into my projects. I'm going to folder, star. You know what I'm going for, y'all, don't right? I know, I know a lot of people already know what I'm going for. I'm going to go here. Kind of put that there. Put that position. Let's see what that looks like. Let's go behind there. You kind of see that. And let's just duplicate it, do it on the other side. Let's flip that around, see what that looks like. That looks a little like cooler. Kind of give it a little edge there. And like I said, I like this. I'm trying to get that little edge off the edge. Oh, let's go in a position if you're going to be me. Go here and drag that little edge off just a little bit. And that's how you do that. Uh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's all about really just making your time and straight and everything. And like if you want to do the lines and you have a photo behind there, you're going to see the photo if you downloaded this. And that's why, I under, like I was saying, if you put a photo, you can do, if you want to do lines, I would do, you know, a color back there versus 
anything else. And the other thing that I did was the same as I did that frame. After the fact, I just stood there and I took one of these and did the center naked and the outside. I gave it a little bit of border to kind of match the size of the other one. And, oops, nope. Undo. Border. This color. And then I just kind of put it over top. Like so. And I took the edges off because I didn't, I didn't want edges. And just made that so. And then you'll put that position. Put it behind there like that. And then you can have that like little cross, like a little cross section like that. And that way you can bump it up a little bit. And that's how you make one of those. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I think I need to move that down a little bit. And ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Um, thank you for stopping by. I love you guys. See you on the next one. Bye y'all.